In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a triangular passing concept out of one of the most versatile passing plays in Man 23. That is the play PA slot cross. You could literally run an entire offense from this one play. And this is found in the gun type formation in the Washington Commanders and Detroit Lions offensive playbooks. If you want to get my entire ebook on this formation, um, it's going to be linked in the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, over 25 different ebooks, as well as several updates that teach you the ins and outs of Madden 23 and how to play it at a very, very high level. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link is down in the description. Again, it's only $10 to become a member. All right, guys, PA slot cross out of gun tight. We're going to be talking today about how do you create what I call a triangular read concept or something that you can call whenever your opponent starts to double flat or double Mabel their coverage. And we're gonna, it, it also has to be able to beat other coverages as well um, in case you guess wrong. So uh, P is slot cross, really, really good play. We're actually going to basically hot route everything on the play. Um, so what we're gonna do, you can run this from stick as well. I'm gonna show you one thing real quick. So what you, what you'll see with this play stick here is you can do some kind of neat stuff with these flats, um, as you can see right here. So you can feel free to run this from stick. The reason I'm suggesting running it from stick is because the flat routes from stick are better than the flat routes that you would hot route to, um, and you can throw you can quick throw them against cover zero pressure, as you can see right there. So just keep that in mind. But you can run this out of PA slot cross as well, um, and, and it's really a versatile play. So what we're going to do is we're going to, like I said, create some type of triangular read. That is the key. So the best way that I know how to do that is we're going to flat Michael Irvin. We are going to post Owen Daniels, our tight end. We're going to streak our running back. We're going to then hitch Valdez Scantling, and we're going to streak Julian Edelman. As you can see, this is what the play looks like. Now, like I said, you can run the entire play from the play stick. It looks exactly the same, and it saves you adjustments, and you get a better flat route, all right? So just keep that in mind. Against man coverage, really the main read is going to be our tight end over the middle of the field, as you can see right there. Now, if you want the another thing you can do with this is you can utilize Vada Scantling as the like man-beating route, if you will. And then we're going to do something like this where we float the back across on a little streak route or whatever or a wheel that's going to get into that triangular type of area. And then you're going to rely on the fact that you have, you know, this type of concept coming underneath it. So you can do it like this if you want to build around that Valdez Scantling route, which is really, really good against main coverage. It also creates some nuance to your offense as well. So again, several ways to create the same basic thing here. Uh, but really, like I said, I love this play right here. This is the core of it. And then you can do a lot if you, so like another thing you can do that I didn't get into yet is if you wanted to, especially if you have hot route master, you can go ahead and do something like this right here where you just do a hitch, two hitches in the middle of the field. The reason this is good is let's jump into the actual double Mabel coverage that I'm talking about. So if this is actually a, a call that your opponent's going to make, what you'll notice is they're going to try to basically, we're going to, we're going to essentially pin their user in the middle of the field. He's not going to, he's going to struggle to, um, you know, know who to guard basically. So what you'll see here is these hitches on both sides. The flats don't guard them in tight. Um, in other formations they do, but in tight, they just don't. So let me jump in. Let me actually grab a formal double Mabel coverage and show you this again. This is the triangular read uh, is what I call it. Uh, it's kind of basically a variation of stick in the air raid. Um, but and ironically, we're going to run it from, we could run it from a play called stick. So anyway, so if they put the two purples out here and then, and then again, like I said, they're going to use her, uh, typically they're going to use her in like a mid read type of section uh, of the field. So if you run it just like this right here, this is a super simple way to run it. What you should see is these curl flats will drift outside and you can throw one of these hitches over the middle. And again, it can literally just be that straightforward that simple but another way that you can run it and i want to show you just a couple different variations today is you can run it like this um the reason you might want to run it like this 
is because it really does mess with the user. The user is going to have a hard time uh, guarding this, this specific variation of it, because they're going to truly have to choose, am I going to go guard the, the post or am I going to guard uh, the tight end? That's the main decision that their user is going to have to make. So like right here, like they go to the post. Now you see that drag pulls out those zones even more, and now it's wide open in the middle field. So again, several different variations of the same basic thing. I personally think that if it was me, I would want to run this out of stick just because the flat routes are better against man coverage uh, out of stick. And then also the other thing is that you get with the play stick is now you can kind of incorporate your running back a little bit as well. So you could do something like this right here. And the beauty of this is now the running back is wide open out of the backfield just like that. So super, super effective. They're probably not guarding the running back because we normally block the running back, right, in this in this little mini scheme here on a gun tight. So we normally block the running back. Well, now they're in a position where they have to use the running back. So if they use the running back, then guess who's going to be standing wide open? What I like about this play, the other the other piece of it is you can also um, playmaker. So let's say they go guard the running back. We're going to flick our right joystick to the right. We're going to playmaker that stick route over the middle, and Sam Adams is going to pick it off even though he's laying on the ground. But you see the stick route's wide open in the middle of the field. So the, the idea here is once we start to force them to have to play kind of a bend but don't break style, we can go to some of these little like what I call constraint theory plays that are super, super effective for just attacking the basic piece of this. Um, another like kind of interesting little thing you can do as well is let's say, for example, that we did this and then we took we wanted to block the running back anyway, though, and we took Daniels and we put him on an out route. So he's going to pull the flats out when you playmaker this hitch. It's super hard to guard as a user uh, this year. And so they're going to kind of carry that post and then you and kind of go down to the hitch. And when you play maker that hitch open, especially if you have space, it creates a really, really difficult play to guard. So how does this play work? Like I said, against uh, man, really, uh, the, the main thing you want to do against man, if they're playing like kind of like a cover zero man, you can quick throw these flats. Um, you can also free form these hitches down. Now that is, it's really important though to look at the route because if they're shading underneath, uh, which is actually not necessarily, like it's very possible that they're going to shade underneath to guard this play. Now all of a sudden what I would want you to do is wheel the running back. And the reason why is because if they shade underneath, a lot of times they just kind of get messed up and you can kind of get him open on that running back wheel. Now again, you don't have to, uh, you, you know, you can also hit your posts. So, like, if you look at this replay here, the shaded down man coverage is the best way to guard this play. But you have, like, this guy's wide open here. Um, I could hit it in that little pocket right on the cut. Um, so, they're going to have to use that. Then you would playmaker this over the middle. And, you know, sometimes that will actually get separation as well. We're not calling this play if we think they're man, or we're not calling this version of the play if we think they're in man coverage. If we think they're in man coverage, we're probably calling this version of the play um you know so this is more of a specific scenario of like if they're running a lot of double flat trying to take away your mesh concepts then what you want to do really is you want to do this i mean this is the simple way to defeat it this right here very very simple way to beat it and attack it you could do it like this as well um you know you could do something like this kind of mess with them a little bit defensively and then oh their main coverage okay well let's play maker these guys and try to at least make a little possession catch or something for a couple yards so this is how i like to run this play i think this is super super effective um specifically in a situation where your opponent is kind of putting themselves in no man's land by what they're calling defensively because the whole middle of the field is open so again all you have to do is just basically turn your what would have been your double drags right turn them into hitches and one of them's probably going to be open so Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. PA Slot Cross, super powerful play. If you want to learn my entire ebook on Gun Tight, make sure you join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of our updates to those ebooks. And you can go sign up by clicking the link in the description.